ground up. It has four biofeedback machines connected into it. It has a 36 inch parabolic reflector dish. It has its own liquid batteries I built. It has four a 12 inch reflector dishes that I put on it. And everything is wired into a central computer, laptop kind, so that everything that it does can be downloaded and saved. You can pick up everything with this thing. You can pick up radio stations. You can pick up satellite communications. It, it did all that stuff. But the thing was, I never had a chance to fully use it because when we moved, I had to tear it apart because it was put together with putty and and and, and epoxy resin and thing. I, it wasn't put with screws and bolts. I didn't have the money for all that. So I used the cheapest thing I could use, which was putty, plumber's putty, and resins and things like that that, that keep it together. And like I said, it was a communication device. And that's when that's when hell broke loose. All these things came to a hole, and the next thing I know, my head is full of these things. But they were with me before that, but they just didn't show themselves the way they're doing now. Now they come out full force. I grew up in I grew up in grammar school with them, junior high school, and high school. But they were always in the background, never being what you call distinctive. They were there. They spoke every once in a while, but they never really told me anything other than because they were afraid that they would freak me out. In other words, if you had, if your head was full of something like this, but you didn't know it was there, and all of a sudden it started saying, well, we're this, you would kind of freak out when you think, okay, that's what they thought would happen. So they, they portrayed themselves as playmates, imaginary people, things that the little child played with when he was a kid. When I played with a, with a little toy animal, and if I had two of them, they would go into one of my own and become one of them. So when this arm is being controlled this way, I'm controlling this one. And my arm is taking a control of his own while this one is going, ah, I'm a kid. I grow up to a, a um, teenager. I go through junior high school. They're still there, but I'm, a, I'm more of an adult like, kind of person. I pushed my imaginary, supposed imaginary friends aside and became more mature because I said, this is unacceptable. I go through high school, I saw my first real computer. Do you remember the computer with the great big reel that had no, no, no hard drive, they were just tapes? Yeah. Okay, I saw my first computer when I went into high school in, 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 in the computer class, where you go in and learn how to use that thing. I drew it on a piece of paper in high school, and I drew it with, a, with an alien sitting next to you. remember that picture? He had the helmet and all that, the lightning bolt on his chest. I drew this picture, and Oh, nothing of it. It was just a picture. I go through high school. I go out of high school. I still draw, but it's nothing like this. It's just crazy little doodles and things. Okay. One day I went to the flea market, and I'm walking through there, and I see this Japanese lady with these large crystal, quartz crystal things. Like, mm, let's see. Let's see I got it in here. Where's that thing at? It might have been... I know I'm wearing it. Oh, here, here it is. It's these. I have great big ones like that. That's what she had. She had one that was this tall. Right. Okay? So I'm walking through now, I'm looking at some things, and I go through the free market looking for all the junk I find. And all of a sudden, something tells me to buy one. I buy it. At first, I, it was too much. I didn't want it. So I wrote her a check and I bought it. Took it home, sat it on one of the tables in my room, and just, you know, just paid no attention to it. A few days later, all of a sudden, all these computer things is up in my head. And they're showing me diagrams, and they're showing me this and that. Telling me, go get this thing and go get that thing. I go to the store, I go to a place that sells stove parts. And you know the grill with, with those little things you pull out and you can clean your inside? Right. They, they have the little hole in them. They told me to buy a few of those. I buy them. I take them home. I go to a, I go to a plastic shop called Taps Plastic. Have them cut me some plastic cylinders that eight inches round before I bought those. And when I buy those, I bring them home, drop them in place. They fit perfectly. Okay, they become part of the, the unit. So they talk to you. They talk to me. Told me what to buy. They didn't say measure this and measure that. They just say go get this. I walk through a place. I see this little thing there. They say purchase that. I purchase that. Take it home. Slap it on there. It's perfect. It, everything fits, everything functions, and when I finished it, I came out with that. I hooked up a small wire speaker to it, to the, to the wiring of it, and the next thing I know, 
I'm picking up Tokyo, Japan, and Russia with love. I mean, everything that's going through this thing. I, I had a tape recorder on it, and I recorded it. So that, and my mother came in, and she was freaked out, okay? She, she, she freaked out to death, she sees this thing sitting in the living room, this, sitting there. There's, there's, a, there's a large crystal ball in that sitter's chamber. Uh, there's a 40-pound crystal ball in there, hooked up into a magnetic resonance thing. And there, there's all those crystal things like this one, big ones. There's four of them. There's about 100 pounds of crystals in here, like a big crystal radio set. So that thing is very heavy, it huh? It's very heavy and it's very powerful. It knocked out TV sets, it knocked out radios, everything it got near it, it, it freaked it. Including me, because I was putting out all this energy. And the more I sat next to the more I became... <clears throat> and then I built, okay, then I built the helmet. I built the God helmet. Okay, there actually exists this thing, it's called God helmet, and the scientists experiment with it right now. I decided, I looked at it, and I decided they, they, I, I was interested in it. So the same creatures that told me to build this saw this little bitty foam rubber helmet in, in a store, in a thrift store, six dollars. She looked at it and said, buy that. I bought it, took it home. She said, do this, do that, and do this. The next thing I know, I ended up, let me see if I can find it. I want to show you something that's going to totally freak you. Okay, let me get my video thing up here. I'll have to find it, but it's in here. Somewhere. If it's not there, I know I got it. It's on YouTube, I know that. You remember, you, you got it, you remember? Anyway, I'm actually trying to find out where it's at, though. Hmm. Where's here? Okay, it, it's, it's on YouTube, I gotta find it again. But, but anyway, it's a helmet with all these little holes in it. And each hole has a, a, a finger-sized magnet that looks like a, like, looks like a, a, a little cylindrical shape. And there, there are 35 of them stuck in the helmet so that each point is pointed at a different part of your brain. And then it has four quartz crystals, like this thing here. It goes in the side, and it's, it's covered with um, copper stripping so that you can run a, a small electrical pulse through it. And when you put the helmet on, it causes what you call an expansion of your thoughts. Your, your, your thoughts start racing, you start picking up all kind of freaky stuff. So now I got this helmet, I got this crystal chamber, and I got these planetoids, bang bangs in my head. They'll give me all kinds of designs. They, they, they sat there, in 20 minutes, I drew, I drew an animatronic, fully capable animatronic design, so you could build a, you could build a, a, a giant animatronic thing that's, say, about nine feet, and you're in this thing, walking around, like, like, a, like those things they show at the army bases and stuff, they call them animatronic um, exoskeleton. I, do, I came up with an idea in my head in 20 minutes how to do that. It took me longer to draw it, but I drew a completely animatronic thing down to the motors, the packets, the power source, the how you can keep it functioning with batteries and keep it powered up without having to have all this other stuff. And then I drew a UFO with the fully all the little trick of these in it. He's got a copy of it in his house. So I draw all kind of freaky shit. I just draw, I just draw stuff. Everything I draw is something they show me, and they gave me what they call it a system mat. There's this big, there's this big moon-sized thing floating around out there <clears throat> that looks like a big teardrop with blades on the end of it, and it's, it's big as a planet. It's as big as a planet, which is the moon, and it's a, it's a big supercomputer. I got tied onto that now. Now it shows me all these screens of stuff. And there's this big room full of machinery, and in the center of it, there is these big brains, okay? They're not celestial. They're just something that somebody built out there and put out there to, to communicate with other societies. Now this thing is going to show up, and it's freaking me out because, I mean, it's not the thing I got here in originally, but it says this, it, it knows, he knows who I am, and, it, and I've, been, I've been monitored. And I've, in other words, I've been hood. I've been, I've been tagged like, 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 um... A specimen that they that you see that the, the government tag they tag you and they keep an eye on you. So do you think that government is following? No, you? not the government, not my government. I'm talking about that I've been tagged by somebody out there. 
Oh, okay. Okay, they tagged me and they've been watching me, but they, they, they didn't, they, I, I wasn't supposed to know about it. It was only through a freak of accident I found out about it. And it was a, the craziest thing you could, ever, you could ever do. One creature did it, she, she did what she shouldn't have did, then I did something even stupider and I don't found out about them. So the FBI or CIA don't mess with you? Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you something right now. W one day I had on my phone, a signal came through. It, it was FBI. It said that it, it's, it's a tracking signal. Oh. I got it on the phone. There was a tracking signal on my phone bill, and it, it said FBI. Okay? So what, that had, that, what, what that was all about, I never did figure out because nobody ever showed it at my house. But I had been putting all this stuff on YouTube about this stuff. And I've been drawing all these weird and freaky designs. And uh, one of my friends said it looked like a, like a nuclear bomb. That's what he said. And I gave him a copy of it. And then all of a sudden I get signals on my phone saying FBI, tracking me. And then I turn my phone off because it, it freaks me out because I see this thing on there. So who knows what's happening around there. And now all this other crazy shit is happening. So, woo! Poo -poo, spooky! I'm going to keep on experimenting though. I ain't gonna give up on it. And, and then that, oh, 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 remember, remember the epilepsy thing I was telling you about? B big news. They did it. It was, a, it was an accident. Because I was, all of a sudden I was doing all this crazy stuff trying to perfect my science. And they're trying to help me by sending their little power signals through. And all of a sudden, they said they overloaded me. They overloaded my... My, my brain cerebral and suddenly that, that, that stuff started. I never had no epilepsy before and I, and I ain't never did anything different than I'm doing now. I stay woke all night and I do all this stuff and it never caused that kind of effect. They said that they decided to do something extra special for me and what happened was they overloaded some part of my brain and they didn't know it caused this and they, they can't fix it because it's something that, that it just happened. So they said I'm taking those, those pills now so that helped that. That fixed it. But they're still, they're still sorry for it. So let me eat my book.